this uh, live stream. Build strength and control in your breath. So uh, a few people have been asking me uh, about um, this. And if you are on uh, Facebook you with no tanks, you'll know that we've had um, we've had the COVID in the house. So uh, it's quite topical and quite um, up to date that I get asked what breathing exercises can be done post COVID. Yeah. Now, I've decided to uh, go through and give uh, six exercises. So the first three are um, quite soft and subtle and you can do them every day. Um, and the second three are a little bit a uh, bit trickier, but equally well a little bit harder. Um, and they may take you a few times to go through to, to kind of master them. But um, they are suitable for anybody. There's nothing to, uh, nothing dramatically uh, difficult even in the, even in the, the second three. So uh, we go, quickly go through. So uh, we're going to start with, hang on a sec, let me get my computer working. Do, do. So uh, Oh, so apparently, sorry, my vocals have uh, audio disappeared when I put the the clip up. Hang on one second. Let's try and uh, let's try this. Hang on, stay there. There we go. There we go. So we're back on. So uh, sorry about this. Sorry about that. Um, uh, slight technical fault there. Okay. So uh, the first thing is uh, the awareness, and this is a real soft awareness exercise that you should be doing three times a day. Okay. Really, really soft. Uh, really good for you. Um, and yep. Yeah, so you can do it three, four times a day. A really, it's just to bring your awareness from uh, the outside world to yourself via the breath. Okay, so it can you can use it for centering, uh, for just you know awareness of yourself before you do an exercise, before you do an exam, any 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 way you like. Okay, or if you're a little bit stressed, you can use it. Now I'm going to go down, and the 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 uh, sound will disappear for one second. Why? But now I know how to set up. So hang on one second. It's going to disappear again, but I'll get it back. There you go. So uh, secondly, we're going to look at control. So this is uh, breath control. Again, really soft and, uh, and, and maybe, yeah, maybe subtle. And you're really um, um, going to be looking at the mechanics of how you control your breath. Okay, so again, really good if you're going to uh, partake in some sort of a physical activity or if in the middle of a physical activity. If you're having a break in the middle uh, of a physical activity, uh, you can start with awareness and go on to and use this control and really uh, start to control your breath. Now, we had uh, some people come to our, our club uh, that were doing underwater hockey and... Um, and they said, "Yo, can you teach us anything?" And this is one of the major things that we taught them. And 
it wasn't about during the game when they're playing the hockey, so they hold their breath to go at the bottom of the pool and they play hockey. That it wasn't that 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 we could could tweak too much. But what we could do is when they had a timeout or when they had a break, when they're on the side of the pool, that they could go through these two sections, bring their awareness back to their breath. They didn't have to be kind of looking around themselves to you know the coach or whatever. They could close their eyes bring their awareness back to their breath, and then start to control it again, which means after the break or after the timeout, bam, they're straight back into um, you know, you know, straight back into the game in a better place than they were at the end of the, of, you know, before the break. But it works with any kind of physical activity, whether it's uh, jiu-jitsu or you know, basketball, doesn't matter what it is. Okay, so third up, again, I'm, I'm gonna apologize if the audio will drop out just for one second. Uh, hang on. So the third uh, section, again, the first three are all soft techniques. Uh, we're going to be looking at mental strength. I tweak this a bit, okay? The word mental strength, mm, it's a little bit dubious, but I wanted awareness, control, and strength, and I wanted to to kind of get into strength but in a soft way so it's you uh being in control of your breath and how you can mentally how strong you are mentally in keeping that breath again so we can uh, use the third one wouldn't generally use uh you know in a sporting event but you can do it every day um as part of a general relaxation kind of um, exercise uh, or awareness based daily routine. Okay. So again, you have to uh, pause for a second while I sort the vocals, uh, vocals the uh, audio out. Here we go. Okay, so uh, part four, we go back to awareness and where we're breathing okay so the, remember four five and six they're a little bit more um harder to perfect and a little bit more strenuous on the body okay so you probably won't get these on the first run through but they're quite useful uh, to be to work on and then you can use them you know uh, like every day if you want but you're more likely to use these like you know two or three times a week okay? they're gonna actually uh, whereas the first three are in the moment, bringing control and awareness back to what you're doing, the four, five, and six are developing uh, your breathing for better health moving forwards. Okay, so um, yeah, number four is awareness where. Hang on, you have to excuse me again as the uh, audio drops out. I'm getting quite good at turning it on back on now. So number five, we have uh, the control holds. Now, these are um, control, as in you know, control, but we're looking at holding our breath. So this is the first time we're actually gonna be holding our breath. Um, and um, it's, it's interesting what happens when you hold your breath. There's a lot of things that goes go on. A lot of things that go on in your brain when you hold your breath. The first thing, if you've never done it before, um, is that I can't do this, and that will influence how your breath hold is. Right? But do it two or three times, really soft. You will start to get an idea of what it feels like, and then instantly you can go, oh, okay, I can do this, um, and you can if you can talk. Then you can do this because effectively when you you breathe in and then you say a sentence and while you're saying that sentence effectively you're not breathing in again so it's like holding your breath so anybody can hold their breath okay we're not going to put any times on it okay but when you start you, you're going to be thinking oh, i can't do this but as you get into it you'll build up that knowledge that you can actually do things Okay, and finally, number six, hang on for the audio.
is uh, physical strength. So this is something that you can do um, very simple, very simple exercises that you can do to build up the muscle strength of, of your breathing. Now, you can buy very expensive um, things that you, you kind of uh, blow into and they develop strength, but they're just gizmos and, and we, can, we, can, we can get around that. Um, one interesting thing before we actually go in there and, and start is uh, this. So the number five is what's actually recommended by the World Health Organization. The exercise number five is what's recommended by WHO for COVID recovery. Okay, so we, we kind of have to go through the others to get there. So, so you, you can build up the, the awareness and the skills to get to do it. But when you get there, this is actually recommended by WHO. Uh, so it's, it's worth having. These are all pretty simple. You can feel free to share this video. You know, uh, it's it's just it's stuff that we use as free divers and tweaked in a certain way. There's there's no you know kind of major secrets there. Okay, so without further ado, let's go back up uh, to the first and let's start with this. Okay, so closing your eyes is um, pretty much essential. Obviously, if you're going to be doing this driving, uh, you can't close your eyes. Okay, you can do this driving. Okay, but it's better if you can get yourself in a situation where you can close your eyes. Right? I get as we've done before, as I've mentioned before, I wouldn't lay down and do these exercises. I'd uh, I'd kind of sit up. Okay, because laying down tells your body that you want to go to sleep. We're definitely not doing that. So very very simple. Sit there. If you can, if you're safe to do so, close your eyes. And you can do it now. I will talk you through it and you can do it. Now, all the first three exercises, they are five, oh, sorry, the other side, five breaths, okay? So each one has five breaths. The second, the four, five, and six, generally 10, but the first five, five breaths. Okay, so close your eyes and just be aware of the air moving we're going to breathe through the nose on this uh on this exercise so we breathe in through the nose and out through the nose there's 147 reasons why we should breathe through the nose but i won't go into them in this video and you want it to be soft and long make sure the air is uh, not forced and um don't judge yourself it's, there's no there's no uh, win or lose on this. It's just be aware of the breath. Okay, so the first breath. Be aware of the breath going in through the nose and out through the nose. On the second breath, breathe in through the nose. Try and make it long and smooth and soft. And then as you exhale, drop the shoulders and soften as you exhale. On the third breath, try and keep the breath smooth. Remember, it's a silken thread which we've, with which we control the entire body. Remember that mantra. So as you breathe in, try and keep it super smooth. And then as we breathe out, we keep it super smooth. There's no, there's no ch -ch 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 or it's smooth all the way down. And then on the fourth breath, I want you to be aware of the change in direction, but I want it to be a continuous movement. So as you start breathing in, it's continuous, it's smooth, it doesn't get faster or slower. And at the top of the breath, it just changes direction and then comes out again. But it's continuous. There's no pause at the top. And then there's no pause at the bottom. And then we're into the fifth breath now. Remember all of the, all the parts, awareness, and as we change direction again, it's smooth and we're dropping the shoulders as we continue the exhalation. And that is your five breaths of awareness. 
You can keep your eyes closed. I'm telling you now, I'm, I'm going to put the next uh, word on the screen, but you don't need to see that. So you can keep your eyes closed as we more move into control. So the control exercise is again five breaths. And first exercise, you had your eyes closed and you breathe through the nose, in and out through the nose. The second exercise, keep your eyes closed if you feel comfortable and it's just safe to do so, and open your mouth just a little bit. Okay? Let the jaw soften. And at no point do you want to stop the breath moving with the lips. We will be breathing through the mouth and the nose, but we don't stop the breath with the lips. We stop the breath at the back of the throat. And I really want you to be aware as we go through these five breaths of the minimum amount of movement you can do at the back of the throat to change between the nose and the mouth. Okay, so here we go, the five breaths. So everybody breathe out completely. And I want you to, when you get to the bottom, breathe in through the nose. Remember it's soft, smooth, in through the nose, and when you get to the top, change and breathe out through the mouth. You're concentrating on the minimum change uh, or movement in the back of the neck to change. And you're breathing out, breathing out, breathing out. When you get to the bottom, you're breathing in through the mouth. So it changes direction, you start breathing in through the mouth. Nice and soft and smooth. It's harder to control it when it's through the mouth than through the nose. And we get to the top and we're going to change again. So out through the nose. Okay, that's breath two. Breath three. I'm going to start breathing in through the nose. So we change direction at the bottom and you start breathing in through the nose. And when you're halfway, switch to breathing in through the mouth. As small a movement as you can in the back of the throat, remember. And then when you get to the top, switch, and you're breathing out through the nose. When you get halfway, switch to breathe out through the mouth. When you get to the bottom, I want you to start breathing in through your mouth. So this is breath four. And when you get halfway, tiny movement in the back of the throat. And you start breathing in through the nose, all the way up to the top. And at the top, breathing out through the mouth, soft, soft, controlled. When you get to the halfway, you start breathing out through the nose. When you get to the bottom, and this is a little bit tricky, I want you to breathe in through both nose and mouth. So we change direction and soften the soft palate at the back of the throat. And allow a little bit of air to come through the nose and the mouth as you're breathing in all the way to the top. Change direction and continue to breathe out through the nose and the mouth. All the way down to the bottom. Beautiful, fantastic. So that's control. And you're controlling where the air is going in and out, whether it's through the mouth, the nose, or both. Again, you can keep your eyes closed. I'm telling you now that I'm going to put the uh, strength up uh, as the, the name of the third exercise in the first three. All right. So now with this, we're, it's the first time we're going to um, um, definitely have a time that we're breathing in for and definitely a time we're going to breathe out for. So we're going to breathe in for a count of five and out for a count of 10. Right? And we're going to start with our heartbeat. Now, um, I'm going to go by my heartbeat. You may be a little bit quicker, you may be a little bit slower, but you know, I'm sitting here on air, so my heartbeat's not going to be super slow, but it's not going to be super fast. So I'm going to kind of go with mine. Go with mine for, for this, but when you do it on your own, go with your, go with your heartbeat, okay? It should be uh, roughly about the same as mine, unless you've just finished a you know, round of, uh, you know, a quarter of, of basketball. But anyway, so again, keep your eyes closed. And you want to do this through the nose, in through the nose, and out through the nose. But 
you can keep your mouth open now a little bit, relax the jaw, which will relax the face, which will allow the shoulders to relax a little bit more. But because we don't need the lips to be shut to stop air going in or out through the nose. So I want you to breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, and then you're breathing in for a count of five. One, two, three, four, five, and then out for a count of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then breath two. We're going to slow it down a tiny bit. So breathing in, two, three, slow at the beginning of the breath. Four and five. Change direction. Smooth again. Two. You're breathing out. Three, four. Drop in the shoulders. Five, six, pull the belly back in just to squeeze the last of the air out. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now start as gently as you can. Two, three, four, five, and breathing out. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, dropping the shoulders, eight, nine, ten, and the fourth breath in, two, three, four, five, and out, dropping the shoulders, let the face relax, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then number five, even slower still, in, two, through the nose, remember, four, five, change direction, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then just allow your breathing to, to continue as, as you feel comfortable. Now, if you're training for something, if you're doing a physical activity, you should be able to get your breath back within three breaths. So having five breaths as an awareness exercise or five breaths for control, it's super good for in the middle of training. Now, when I say separate training from uh, competition, whether it's free diving or, or jiu-jitsu, it doesn't matter. But when you're in competition, you're kind of going all out. Okay, In a swimming competition, you're going to swim from one end of the pool to the other as fast as you can. When you get to the end, you are knackered. And you don't care how knackered you are. Okay, it doesn't matter. But if you're training, you don't want to push yourself to that limit. So you should be able to get your control of your breath back. You'll still be, you know, hard, you know, hard to drop it down, but you'll be in control of it within three breaths. If you take more than three breaths to control your breath again, you've pushed it too hard. And we've talked about this in other uh, live streams where you're going into fight or flight and your body's not not dealing with it. Okay, so they're the first three exercises that uh, I think you should be doing every day. Okay, just just. For general health and fitness remember softening the shoulders as you exhale smooth breaths controlling from the nose and the mouth and then five in and ten out so that's 15 breaths it shouldn't take very long at all okay two or three minutes okay i've taken longer to describe it but you know maybe you should take five minutes if you're doing it yourself when you get into hang of it okay so exercise number four now this is where we start getting a little bit more uh, technical. Okay, so this one, um, you'd usually take 10 breaths to do four, five, and six. Um, not because you necessarily need it for the exercise, but because it's slightly more difficult to master, you want to be doing it 10 times so you can practice it. You can do it five, you know, kind of get it kind of right in the first five, then the second five, you're going to be doing it you know, properly. Okay. So, and put your hand on your chest and your hand on your belly. Okay. Now it's soft and it's in through the nose and out through the nose again. 
as if you can breathe through your nose most of the, most of your life you're going to be much healthier okay there's 147 reasons why i've talked about it before i'm not going to go into it now okay so uh hand on the chest and hand i've just got my hand kind of on my belly okay that's all all it is just resting on your belly so eyes closed and in through the nose remember and out through the nose so breathe out breathe out breathe out and i want you to push your hand against your belly against your hand as you breathe in very softly so pushing your hand against your belly and then as you breathe out let your belly hand go back in that's first breath this hand should not be moving. The belly hand should be breathing in, pushing against that belly hand, and then out again. And then I want you to push against the chest. You're filling the chest full of air. This hand should not be moving. It's all in again at the top. And then breathe out. Chest hands going in and breathing in to the chest. And breathing out, pushing the chest, collapsing the chest in. And the next breath, I want you to fill the belly first. And then the chest. And then empty the belly first and then the chest and that's it. and we do that again so fill the belly followed by the chest and then empty the belly and then the chest and then fill the chest first this is the most difficult one and then the belly empty the chest and then the belly and again, chest fill, and then belly, empty the chest, and then the belly. And then the fifth exercise, fill the belly, followed by the chest, full breath, and then start by emptying the chest, and then the belly, and then fill the belly, and then the chest, and then empty the chest, and the belly. And bring your breathing back to normal. Okay, so that's the last of the five breaths. I know we did ten, so we did two of each, but the last of those five, it's uh, we're filling from the bottom of the lungs, we're filling the belly first which isn't actually filling the belly, but that's how it feels like. We're filling the lower half of the lungs, which forces the belly out, and then we're filling the chest. And if you're into pranayama, you will know that the clavicula is the third part, and we kind of fill that automatically when we fully fill our chest, so we don't really need to separate it. And then when we're fully full, we start by emptying at the top, and then squeeze the belly. So this is awareness of where the breath is going. Now, I was obviously demonstrating, and if you were following my count, I was kind of putting the time on it, but when you're doing it on your own, the time doesn't matter, okay? You can do it slow, um, or you can do it very slow. I wouldn't do it fast. <laughs> so time does matter a little bit. But you, if you couldn't keep up with my timing, that's not a problem. It's not a problem at all, okay? I just had to do it at a timing, um, you know, but equally well, if you found my timing you know, quite quick, you can slow it down, you know, when you do yourself. So that's into the belly on its own, into the chest on its own. Belly, then chest, both directions. Chest and then belly, both directions. And then finally, belly, chest to fill, chest, belly to empty. Okay, so that's the five variations. Okay. Okay, so... The next exercise, and don't forget, this is 
the one that's recommended by the World Health Organization for COVID recovery. Okay. Now, bear in mind, if you've had COVID, you might be coughing um, during uh, that last exercise. Okay. And you may be coughing during this exercise. That's fine. Okay. Do as much as you feel comfortable. Okay. If you're recovering from COVID, you, you're going to be having some issues with breathing. These are soft. These are not. Uh, these are soft. Okay. So this one takes a little bit of getting used to. Okay. And I'm going to put in a link in the description all of this, uh, all, you know, written out. So you you know you you can print it off. You don't have to watch this every time. Okay. So here we go. Eyes closed, in through the nose, out through the nose. And we are uh, doing some soft holds. Again, I'm going to count you through it, um, but you can slow it down if it's too quick, or you can speed it up if it's too slow. It's up to you, okay? But I have to count something else, you know, we'll never do it. So again, we're going to do five breaths, um, so two of each. So the first one, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. When you get to the bottom, we're going to breathe in for a count of five. So in through the nose and breathe in, two, three, four, five, and hold for a count of five, two, three, four, five, and breathe out for a count of five, two, three, four, five, and in for five, two, three, four, five, hold for five, two, three, four, Five and out for five, two, three, four, five, and then breathe in for five, two, three, four, five, and hold for five, two, three, four, five, and then hold, exhale. So you're holding again for another five, three, four, five, and do that again. So this is the box, breathing in for five, two, three, four, five, hold for five, two, three, four, five, and exhale for five, two, three, four, five, and then hold again, two, three, four, five. Number three, you're breathing in for five, two, three, four, five, holding for five, two, three, four, five, and out for ten, two, three, four, dropping the shoulders, softening, five, six, seven, no hold at the bottom, eight, nine, ten, and breathing in for five, two, three, four, five, all the way to the top, and hold for five, two, three, four, five, and out for ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and no surprises that we're breathing in for five, two, the extended box, two, three, four, Five, hold for five, two, three, four, five, and out for ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold for five, two, this is a tough one, three, four, drop the shoulders, and breathing in for five, two, three, four, five, hold for five, two, three, four, five, out for ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold for five, two, three, four, five, sorry, 
hold for five. I got a bit carried away. Bring yourself back to a standard breathing. Okay, so that last one was five in, hold for five, out for ten, and then hold for five. And the, th the fifth one, which you usually attack on, but I wanted to explain it to you before before we do it. We're going to breathe in for five and then out for five, but really just let the air fall out. So don't squeeze the air out. The passive hold, we did it last week. If you want to look at it a little bit more detail, then watch last week's video. So everybody breathe out and breathe it in. Two, three, four, five, and breathe out straight away. Two, three, four, five, and just stay there. And then start breathing again. Same thing again. So breathing in for a count of five, two, three, fully breathe in. Five and then breathe out, drop the shoulders, let all the air just escape. You're only breathing out for five. And then when you get to the bottom, just let your jaw hang open. Hold in there with your mouth open, your nose open. And then just start breathing again. Okay, so that's a passive hold. And then there's no time limit on the passive hold. And once you've done the, 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 the kind of the, 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 the first four, you should be ready to go in for that passive hold. Right? So you're not squeezing all the air out, you just and hold. Okay? So that's the main one that you really want to get to. Um, and I was going to make this five exercises um, for uh, breath strength and control, but. Um, I know that some people want um, the, the final bit, which is a kind of physical strength uh, to be added to it. So um, this is why I put this in. But you don't have to do this one. Okay, so physical strength. Now, you can, as I said in the, in the intro, you can buy uh, lung strengtheners. Um, they're, they're, they're not particularly expensive, but there's no need for them. Okay, so very simple exercise very simple take a balloon a standard party balloon take a deep breath in and then blow up that balloon as smoothly and as much as you can on one breath let the air out and do it again deep breath in Try and get as much air in there as smoothly as possible. So don't start and then trail off and trail off and trail off and trail off in one smooth breath. Do that five times. To add more trickiness to it, okay, you breathe in through a straw. Now, if you can get a McDonald's straw, it's quite thick. If you get um, a, uh, a reusable straw, it's quite thin. So you breathe in through the straw. And it's hard work, especially on the fourth and the fifth tries, because you're quite tired. You've been working out your diaphragm. So it's tough to breathe in through the straw. So it's breathe in through the straw. It's, you know, it's hard, hard work. And then try and blow up the balloon. And then move back to the straw to take one breath in and then blow the balloon, one breath. Breathe in through the straw, and then one breath into the balloon. Now, the reason I'm not demonstrating it is because I didn't tell you to bring a straw or a balloon. I'm trusting that you can find yourself a straw and a balloon to do that exercise. Just five breaths. 10, if you, when you get the hang of it, just notch it up to a 10. So, um, uh, it's, how, 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 okay, how do I, how do I point at, oh, that's, I'm looking at a mirror image. <laughs> so uh, the, f the first three here, okay, are uh, five breaths, okay? And these, you can do them in five, but it's better to do them in, uh, in 10 breaths. So it's just basically two cycles of it, okay? If you've got any questions, and I see I've gone way, way over time. Um... um if you've got any questions, ping me a message on Facebook or um, on here. 
and I'll endeavor to answer it. Um, otherwise, give it a go. And can I ask uh, a favor of everybody? When you've done it, can you please, uh, this video will go up tonight, but it gets processed overnight, so it'll be ready to be watched tomorrow. Can you come on tomorrow and put a comment on how it went, okay? Just so we can uh, kind of gauge what people kind of thought of it, but how the exercise went, okay? So thank you very much, and I will see you um, later in the week. I think there's gonna be a, um, a video coming out on Friday for um, free diving, and then we'll probably go back to one of each next week, one for free diving on a Monday and one for for uh, jujitsu on a Wednesday. So uh, thank you very much for joining me and uh, see you either later in the week or next Monday. Thank you very much.